football. There are some matches that still have to be decided, in particular Wales, Scotland and Ukraine. Obviously the last of those three is the critical issue. We don't do politics on this show, but we all know that because of Ukraine and their current situation, that has been delayed. But these are the qualified nations. Stanton, it's a dream World Cup. Um, Brazil, as you said, uh, back to number one. Messi, last World Cup? Yeah. What do you reckon? Big names, yeah. eh? Look, you can never call it because um, I think um, the way football has moved and, and it's become a science. Uh, players are stronger, they last longer, so we're hoping that this is not the last, but I think in, in I think that's just me being um, a, a little bit sentimental there. We'd love to see Messi forever, uh, but I think when, when I look at the World Cup, it takes me back to my childhood. And what we were exposed is always South American teams bring the glitz and the glamour. Mm. You mentioned glitz and the glamour. And you look at Brazil and Argentina and how how surprising it is that they're no longer the big teams. I think if you're talking about favourites here, France, we don't even have to mention it, but England for me, not going all the way for Euro. They've got a young side, exciting side, and I think they're certainly going to put their hat in, and uh, it's possibly going to come home, apparently. apparently. <laughs> I was going to say, you're not going to go to bringing it home again, because I don't know, you know. We'll have Terry Payne on the phone reminding us that it hasn't been home since 1966, and it still hasn't got home. But when I look at that list, Bongani, um, it's got everything because it's different styles as well. That's the great thing about football. We were discussing it amongst ourselves the other day, well, um, yeah. actually in the, in the makeup room a little bit earlier on, saying that there's various...